At this point, we welcome all of our friends watching live on Facebook. Thank you so much for joining us. Before he was a prize, before he was a concert hall, before he was a philanthropist, Avery Fisher was an inventor, a pioneer of high fidelity radio, and he poured his success into supporting and developing young musicians. He founded the Avery Fisher Artist Program, which annually for the past 42 years awards outstanding young musicians with recognition and a $25,000 grant. The Avery Fisher Career Grants uh, have no application, no competition. Avery Fisher himself set these rules in 1976. The program is meant to help young musicians at the time when they need it most. For each of our recipients, the Career Grant was a surprise. And we'll hear more about that from them a little bit later on. I think you'll agree that these musicians are poised for great things. Let's begin with 27-year-old Spanish violinist Francisco Fuyana. Born in Mallorca, studied at Madrid and Juilliard and at USC in LA, where he studies with Midori. He'll be with pianist Zha Yi Shi, performing the violin sonata of Enrique Granados. Please join me in welping, welcoming our first Avery Fisher Career Grant recipient, Francisco Fuyana.
Sonata for Violet and Piano by Enrique Granados, performed live in the green space. Francisco Fuyana, beautiful. And Jai Ishii, pianist, thank you both. Uh, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's an honor, of course, to be here. So uh, how did you find out? What was that phone call like? <laughs> well, you know, I got an email when I landed on a plane from Veronique and a voicemail. You know, it said... Uh, uh, with there's we have some good news about you know I'm the executive director of the Avery Fisher Artist Program and you know so I I guess I had somewhat of an idea <laughs> but when I saw that but then I called her right away I was just, you know still taxing <laughs> so it was very very exciting <laughs> for sure. good for you do, do you come from a musical family and uh, no I'm the only one I'm, I always say I'm the weird one I'm my whole <laughs> my whole family are uh, educators uh, my mom is a math high school teacher and my dad used to be a teacher he's a superintendent and from my cousins, my aunts, everybody, anywhere between primary school all the way to college professors. So, 
Usually parents fall into two different categories that they're highly supportive of uh, work in the arts and then sometimes not so. Where do your, your parents fall? Oh, I mean, they're incredibly supportive. Uh, what I still kind of don't understand to this day is that they made this decision for me to uh, study violin with this teacher in Madrid. Uh, when I was 11, and they moved from my town of Mallorca. They, you know, they took different jobs in different schools, and they moved for me to study there for five years. And, you know, literally the day that I moved to New York uh, to study at Juilliard, they moved back. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> on your own in New York. Well, uh, that's a good thing. Well, n not so not so much on my own. Uh, I was very very lucky to uh, to meet uh, a wonderful person that's here today, uh, Susan Beckerman. Uh, who uh, has become my American mother and my American family, so. Well, I'm glad somebody's keeping an eye on you. <laughs> so you were here as part of the Young Artist Showcase uh, like 18 months ago, and uh, it's, uh, you've been very busy since then, touring around. Tell us about St. Paul, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, uh, I've been spending time back and forth uh, uh, over there, and you know, I, just, uh, I guess the, the biggest thing also this, this month is that I released uh, my first album as well. Congratulations, tell us uh, about, your, about your fiddle. Yeah, I'm uh, talking about incredible luck and, you know, something that I'm so fortunate. Uh, this is uh, the Mary Portman Warnery, uh, 1735, from the Stradivari Society of Chicago. Uh, uh, wonderful people, uh, Karen and Clement Arison. Karen is also here <laughs> today. Uh, uh, they are lucky enough to, you know, I feel really lucky there to, to have it. And, you know, it was one of Chrysler's violin before you know, way back in the day. So I always, you know, it's, it's the first time, you know, I've been playing uh, nice instruments for, for a while, but uh, since the first moment I played it, it was the first time that I felt I could just connect with the, with the audience right away. There was no, no second guessing or none of that. I could just play and, you know, whether people like it or not, that's <laughs> a different story, but, uh, but at least I know that what's out there is what I'm, I'm feeling and I'm trying to communicate. Well, uh, I think we like it. Congratulations again, Francisco Fuyana. Our uh, next recipient is just under eight years old. Uh, they've come a long way, though. Formed at the Colburn Conservatory in 2010, the Calidor Quartet went on to serve as artist in residence at SUNY Stony Brook, making the move to New York, and they're now in residence at Chamber Music Society too. The ensemble is violinist Jeffrey Mayers and Ryan Meehan, violist Jeremy Berry, and cellist Estelle Choi. The four classmates took the name Calidor from a combination of the French door, meaning golden, and California, so golden state. They feel the name represents a reverence for the diversity of culture and the strong support they received in their city of origin in Los Angeles. The Calidor Quartet, as you heard, could not be with us tonight, but they've shared with us a clip from the Chamber Music Society of Lincoln Center, just recorded a few months ago in the Rose Studio. The Calidor Quartet and the finale from Mendelssohn String Quartet, number six.
Courtesy of the Chamber Music Society of Lincoln Center, the finale of Mendelssohn's String Quartet Number no. 6, performed by the Calador Quartet. If you're just now joining us, I'm Elliot Forrest in downtown Manhattan. Happy that the storm happened yesterday and not today. We're in the green space to celebrate the 2018 Avery Fisher Career Grant recipients. We have four recipients this year, including the Calador you just saw and two more young artists to meet. Next, a rarity for the Avery Fisher Artist Program, a double bassist. 23-year-old Xavier Foley is a graduate of Curtis, where he studied with Edgar Meyer, the first bassist to receive an Avery Fisher Career Grant, and a few years later, the first bassist to receive the Avery Fisher Prize. Xavier is from Marietta, Georgia, and has already appeared with the Atlanta Symphony and the Philadelphia Orchestra, among others. And as the second ever bassist to win the Young, Artist, uh, Young Concert Artist Auditions, Xavier just made his New York recital and WQXR radio debut on the Young Artist Showcase. Joined by pianist Kelly Lynn, Xavier will perform an intermezzo and in Tarantella by Reinhold Glier. Please welcome to the green space bassist Xavier Foley.
Xavier Foley, Kelly Lynn, music of Reinhold Glier from the Green Space. That was fabulous. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> that was really amazing. Uh, now, you're the youngest recipient this year. How long have you been playing the bass? Um, 23 minus 11 is 12, right? <laughs> so, so how did you pick this instrument? Well, uh, the story goes, uh, in middle school, I was uh, choosing instruments, and I saw the bass on this rack, and it was I was about this high, and the uh, bass was really big, and I thought I'd be the cool kid <laughs> just because I was playing the biggest instrument in the class. So that's that's, just <laughs> that's honestly how did that work out? It worked out. You know, I, I think I picked it. <laughs> it, it, it fits well. Yeah. I have a vested interest in this because uh, I played the tuba first and then I played the stand-up bass, uh, double bass, and I didn't really get good at an instrument until I played electric bass. And I was terrible at this. And I know how difficult it is. And I think one of the things that strikes me is that a lot of the music that's written for this is, is just from when I played it, was a lot of boom, 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 boom. And you're backing up a lot of stuff. So do you feel like you have to be a champion of sorts to be able to take this instrument and say, we're stepping forward with this. This is a solo instrument. I'm loud and I'm proud and we're going to do this. Uh, do I feel like a champion? I don't know. Uh, but uh, uh, it's just definitely um, some unconventional things. You know, it's, it's, uh, you know, the bass is made for playing the bass notes of the symphony. And um, so it's, I'm kind of breaking the rules here. But you know, there, there are some bass players like uh, Johannes Matthias Spitterger, who's a double bass virtual. You have Kutzevitsky, double bass virtual. So you're, we're coming. I mean, uh, they're, 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 it's, it's getting better. And uh, they're definitely in this generation, the, uh, the level of uh, uh, bass playing is definitely raising. And that's due to the teachers that we, we have. Well, let's talk about this, because you make this sing. And how much of an influence is Edgar Meyer? Well, he, he, Edgar Morrow was the, the first uh, professional bassist I ever listened to as far as uh, classical bass. So it's, that was kind of the standard uh, that was set from the very beginning. So it, he definitely um, raised the bar uh, from the start. And when you got the phone call that you had won this, uh, your recipient, what, what, how did it go for you? Well, I mean, I, I, I knew about it. I heard, you know, I've seen artists win, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I, would, I could never imagine um, being awarded such a great prize. And then there you go. It's, I give a phone call. I'm like, hey, <laughs> you got a prize. Avery Fisher, why, 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 why what? <laughs> and as we've discussed, this comes with a little money. Do you have plans for it? Does this give you an opportunity you wouldn't have been able to do otherwise? Oh, absolutely. Uh, so one of the things uh, I've always wanted to do was get an uh, extension for this double bass and to make it bigger so you're cooler is it <laughs> you know uh maybe deep down and you know some freudian philosophy maybe so but all uh, the <laughs> you know but uh you know the main reason is so i can play uh lower notes you know we are so honored to have you here congratulations again on the Avery fisher career grant xavier foley ladies and gentlemen thank you so much At 24, pianist Drew P Peterson is already a veteran guest at WQXR Radio, hailing from across the Hudson in New Jersey. Drew is an, in the Artist uh, Diploma Program at the Juilliard School and has collected awards in England and Israel, Poland, and across America. As a teenager, he performed in our Beethoven Piano Marathon that we held right here in the green space. And at some point, he's managed to study social science at a little school in Boston called Harvard. He'll perform the list arrangement of Widmung, a song Robert Schumann wrote for his wife Clara. Please join me in welcoming to the green space, Drew Peterson.
Peterson Schumann's Widmung, arranged for piano by Franz Liszt. And we're going to chat with you in just a moment, but first, uh, another piece. So this is the Fugue from Samuel Barber's Piano Sonata, live in the green space. Once again, this is Drew Peterson.
Dazzling Fugue from Samuel Barber's Piano Sonata. The piece was commissioned about 70 years ago by Irving Berlin and Richard Rogers for the League of Composers, and it was premiered by Vladimir Horowitz, performed here in the green space by Drew Peterson. Come on over. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on the award. If I've done the math right, you started when you were about four years old. Is that about right? Formal lessons, five and a half. Five and a half. So I'm, so I'm trying to figure out, was there a single moment along uh, up in, you're 24 now, is that right? Yes. 24. So was there a single moment that you'd sort of hit you that you could do this, that you were good enough to have a career in of it, or was it sort of an evolution? I'd say probably more an evolution. It was always a dream of mine from being a little kid. I feel like the dream evolved though over time. I mean, it's one thing to say, oh, I want to be a pianist and do this a lot when you're 10 versus 24 or even somewhere in between the two. And it's been, and it keeps evolving, which is really great. And uh, you've played with orchestras already as well as solo. Is there a difference for you? What's the big difference? Oh, playing with orchestra for solo, oh my God. So totally different. I mean, it's, it's, it's really nice to play solo because you have complete control. You don't have to worry about anyone else on stage. Playing, no, it, it's, 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 it's. All those other musicians and conductors. And I, all those conductors. With, <laughs> no, conductors can be really great. But that's the, the flip side of it is that sometimes, and oftentimes really, one is so inspired by playing with others. And it's really nice actually to have colleagues on stage with you as opposed to being alone. Sometimes you sit down alone and you're like, what am I going to do? But when, when you have people there with you, behind you, alongside you, it's, it's really nice to have that support. And uh, the recipient of this particular award, the Ever Fisher Career Grant, was it an email for you too or a phone call? It was a phone call. It was a really crazy phone call to answer my phone from a, from a 212 number thinking, oh, who, who, who could this be? Maybe it's someone I know, maybe not. Well, it was great news, so I'm really happy I answered that phone call. <laughs> really, really happy. It was a great surprise. Yeah, don't block that number. Just <laughs> little advice never, from me. Never. Do you have plans for the, uh, for, for the award? Wow, well, there's, there's always things to do, of course, always things to spend time and money on <laughs> as a musician, especially a young one. One of the big goals of mine is to do some much needed work to my piano. So pianos are real, they're, they, they're beautiful, but they require constant care. Like, like pianists, I guess. So it's, <laughs> it's a symbiotic relationship, you know, go, going ba back and forth. But it's time for me to, to, to invest in my, my, my piano to make it the best it can be. So oh. keep inspiring me. Well, very sweet. Well, <laughs> take care of the piano and take care of yourself. <laughs> and you've got one more piece for us. Yes, yes. Looking forward to playing some Gershwin for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Drew Peterson. number one of George Gershwin performed in the green space by Drew Peterson. Let's welcome back all of the recipients, the 2018 Avery Fisher Career Grant recipients, bassist Xavier Foley.
pianist Drew Peterson, and violinist Francisco Fuyana, and the Calador Quartet. I want to thank our collaborating pianists, uh, G.I. Shi and Kelly Lynn. Also, thanks to the teams both here at the Green Space and WQXR. Uh, thanks to Veronique for Kushni and the Avery Fisher Artist Program. I'm Elliot Forrest. Thank you so much for being here. This is a production of WQXR here in New York. See you next time. <laughs>